Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. If you ever want to photograph something and preserve as much detail as possible, in this video, I'm going to share with you something I learned a long time ago. Now, this doesn't matter if it's a macro image or a landscape image or anything in between. It's just whenever you want to preserve as much detail as possible. What you'll need to do first is create an exposure bracket. I recommend three images. And if there's not a lot of dynamic range in the scene, let's say it's just a macro of a flower, uh, just use one stop between each of the exposures. If it's got a lot of dynamic range in the scene, like it's a landscape image and there's a bright sky and maybe dark water, then space those images apart by two stops. But you have three images now. So once you have those three images, take them into Photoshop. Uh, go up to File down to automate, and then go down to the bottom, merge to HDR Pro. Now we're not going to be creating this ugly HDR type thing. There's a feature in HDR Pro, it's only available in Photoshop, that will allow you to create an image or a bracketed set of image, images that have a lot of detail in them. Let me show you. So we'll do this, this little box pops up, we'll click on browse. And I have these images on my desktop in this detail folder, and there are three raw files. And we'll select all three, and I'll click Open. Now make sure that you have Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images checked, even if you use a tripod, because sometimes just a tiny little movement, and you're going to get ghosting. So just make sure you have that checked, and click OK. Now initially it's going to take these three raw files, and it's going to show them opening up into Photoshop proper. But then what it's going to do, um, it's going to open up Merge to HDR Pro. And here it's now. And what you want to do is over here on the right-hand side, see this mode? Change that to 32-bit. Once you do that, you really have only one option, and that's to complete the toning in Adobe Camera Raw. There's nothing else here for you to do. So it's not, you know, where you have those ugly... HDR presets that are available in Merge to HDR Pro. You're not going to use any of those. It's just this 32-bit image just preserves as much detail as possible in the scene. So we're going to go to the bottom, Tone in ACR. That's Adobe Camera Raw. And then what it will do is it's going to actually create the file. And depending on the size of your images, it may take a little while. It's going to show Photoshop at first. But then once it actually creates the file, it's going to open up Adobe Camera Raw. And then from there, we could do our processing. And you'll see that uh, the image is going to be quite large, and it's going to have a ton of detail. So here's the image here. It's unprocessed. So we'll just go to the Basic tab. I'm going to bring Exposure up, and I'm going to bring the highlights down. And I'll open up the shadows a little bit, maybe bring Exposure down a little more. And... Um, Probably the lights are going to be, yeah, the lights are pretty bright. Get a white and black point. I'll add some texture and some clarity and maybe a little saturation. And um, I think you'll see that if I zoom in, it's got tremendous detail. As you could see, uh, hopefully you could see on these office buildings, I actually could see people sitting in their office spaces in this building here. And by the way, if you ever come to Buffalo and want to visit me, I'm in this building right here. See these two air conditioners? That's my studio right there. These four windows, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So if you ever want to visit me, 10th floor, and you'll find my name on my door. And uh, that's how you could do it. Now, when you're done here, uh, let's say I'm done. I'm just going to abbreviate it so you don't have to watch me. I'm actually going to bring it over into Photoshop proper Go to the crop tool and straighten it because it's a little crooked. Maybe bring it down here and move it over a little bit. So this is Main Street right here. I want Main Street to be right down the middle of the image. And there is my image. Super high definition. Uh, again, so if you ever have a situation where you want to preserve as much detail as possible, take an exposure bracket. Three images is all you need. If, again, if there's not a lot of dynamic range, there wasn't really a lot of dynamic range here. Yeah, there was snow, it was dark, but there really wasn't a lot of dynamic range. So I spaced these images 
a one stop apart, uh, three images. Um, if there is a lot of dynamic range, space them apart two stops and then uh, merge them in HDR Pro and you'll uh, preserve as much detail as possible and you'll come up with a really um, high definition image. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.